you. Yes, you. Do you want to learn how to program? But you don't want to learn like insanely hard syntax that's impossible to understand. It's at least have your life. Well, watch this video. If you're trying to learn a program, this is you on Google, how to hello world. Then you definitely need to watch this video. You might have to code anyway. Watch. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and then we can I'll show you guys how to do more advanced stuff like if statements, um, create functions and then call them at another time, create windows, add labels to those windows, and then open the windows and stuff like that. So yeah. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial on how to code in SparkScript. So, or to program in SparkScript, I would say. So, what you can do is something like this print single quotes. Remember, it's only single quotes. I'll put double quotes or it will not work. And then, well, it will work. It'll just to give you a syntax of it. Hello world. Exclamation mark. Save it. Get. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click the interpreter, copy the path to the main. And by the way, if you want to do this, you just have to download the folder in the description. So you just download it, put it in Visual Studio Code, and do the same thing I'll do it. Hit run the main with the interpreter path copy. You're going to go ahead and do that. Excuse me. Um, you're going to go to the same thing for the SPS. So make a Make sure you make an SPS file because I'm not going to give you one. You have to make it yourself because it's pretty easy to make. You just go to like here or create a new file or something. And yeah, so you're going to make it, copy the path. It has to be .sps, remember. So you're going to paste it, enter it. It's going to say hello world. There you go. So that's, that's just how you put hello world in structure. So next, what we're going to do is some map. Let's do something like Make a variable spark dot spark uh, s equals twenty five. Okay, so once we have that s now equals twenty five. So now what we're gonna do after that is I'm gonna tell you about both math functions. So spark dot math. This is going to if we do a square root of really any math equation, it's going to return the result as the variable. So if that makes sense, if you're new to programming, that just means it's going to, whatever the result of the equation you're going to do is, is going to take that and then reassign it to a variable. If you're using a variable, of course, you don't have to use one, but if you, if you are. Um, so there's different things you can do. You can do addition, you use type addition. You can do multiplication, by multiplication, you put mold. For division, you can do divide. And you can, for subtraction, you can do sub, subtract. Pretty simple. And for square root, it's SQRT. So I don't want to change the, the, the variable's value. I only want to do an equation. So I'm going to do this. Spark.math, no R equals to no reassign, and then put F dot. Um, so I'm going to do a square root right now. So square root uh, S. Then make sure you save it before running it. So if you don't save it before running, it's not going to work as well. The new things you put in there won't be safe. So you may nothing around. So then we're going to do spark dot s print s print var s. What this is going to do is simply print a variable. So it's going to print s. The, it's going to print the value of s. The value of s won't change. So I'm using a mass no reassign uh, function here. So yeah, going to save that. And by the way, there are a lot more advanced things you can do in here. You can do stuff like in like my code scripting language, you can do things like create a window, put a label in the window, whatever the text is you want to say, make whatever um, font, font size, open the window, you can do stuff like run system commands, you can just like open browser tabs, open links, you can do things like, you can do a good amount of things. You can do, um, yeah, if statements as well. I won't, probably won't get into that till next video, because I don't want this to be a very long video. So we're just going to interpreter, make sure you right click, path, main, run it, interpreter path, sorry, interpreter path is going to do, paste it, grab that .sps uh, file path, paste it here, and then watch this, the uh, square root result is 5, and the s still equals 25, 
So that's what we wanted. It did not change the value of s, but it did do a square root equation. There you go. So if you want to do it so it does reassign the value, you're just going to take away the no re, and then you're going to put just spark that math f dot square root dot uh, not dot, and then just parentheses s. So we're going to run the same thing, just a little different. Run it. Grab the interpreter. Sorry, not the interpreter. We want to grab the SPS. And paste it. And then it'll run. Now S equals 5 because it did reassign it. Those are very, very basic functions in the Spark script. So if you want to do something like um, um, calling, um, creating functions and calling them later in script, I'm not doing that in this video, but I will show you how to do something like how to do a wait function. So, Spark. Not wait one just waits one second so when you run this um it will you know wait a second before doing the uh, for printing so for this video you should actually go write some spark script we'll download it in the description and it's not a virus i promise you it's just python <laughs> so just go download it and create a .sps file in visual studio and you'll be fine go do just go go code have fun. Subscribe gang please.